I never in my lifetime did I imagine that I'd work in bridges. I'm really grateful for the opportunities that College to County brought and the county brought forth and all the learning that I'm getting to do while working here on the, our infrastructure. At the county, there's so much opportunity. There's so many different programs that if you say, I want to do this, there's probably some type of program that supports you. You know, if you want to be in the schools, there's school base. You know, if you want to be a policymaker, you can still do that within mental health. You can come over here and do it. You know, there's so many programs that it's like endless of what you want to do. I've always been interested in the world around us, how it works, uh, learning about why things are the way they are, and uh, working on ways to improve. I was a sophomore going into my sophomore summer, and um, I learned about it through a mentor I had in college. And I thought, you know, it'd be interesting to get a job with the county. I mean, it's a smaller, organization, but you get exposure to things you normally don't. I started in the assessor's office in 2015, summer of 2015 as an intern with the commercial appraisers. Came back the following summer working as an intern for the Selwood Bridge project with Bridges. When I transitioned to the Selwood Bridge, I interned for them during the summer and then came in as a part-time during my school year and then they hired me on as a full-time temporary until a position opened up and then I came in full-time as an engineer with Bridges. The Broadway Bridge was a big project and it involved replacing the raw wheels, which are the wheels where the load rests on and are what pivots the bridge. I was the field inspector for that project, so I was on site when the contractor was working and making sure that we were keeping the public safe, that the work was going on according to plans and ensuring that we had all the proper documentation for the work that was being done. There are some jobs in the private sector where you get to do that, but at the county, it's like that in every single task and every single job you do where you, you've got that direct impact. My aunt raised me and she raised five kids. So that was really hard and it was only her. So just watching her struggle day in and day out, you know, take us a sport like all of softball and baseball and all of that, it was like, I don't want that for myself. Like I want, I want better and I want to show her that, you know, I can be successful. College to County was a paid internship and so they allowed you know a number of applicants to apply. You had to be in special programs so it was AXIX at George Fox and some of the multicultural scholarships. Really I was just seeking an internship where I could gain skill. It wasn't any particular internship, it was mainly how can I continue to just be, challenge myself and gain the skills that I need. And also I knew I had an end goal of where I wanted to be and how could I shape my internship to support that. I started out as just kind of doing, you know, the basic office stuff, filing, learning, you know, HIPAA, confidentiality. I was in um, school base, so that's kind of the program I was working with. One of our first projects was to build like a curriculum of any age group that we wanted to. And so my age group was high schoolers, because that's always been like my niche within like psychology. I built this curriculum on like high schoolers for um, students of color with low self-esteem. Um, and I was kind of focused around women too, just because I think in high school, you're going through so much transition and there's so much going on within the school system and sometimes you can get overlooked. And so I built it based on like to boost self-esteem and confidence in that you're worthy of, of going to college no matter what like socioeconomic status you are. I think the thing that impresses me most is how these students have come through the program. Many have um, been College to County mentees for more than one summer, but each time, each summer that they spend here, they grow in their understanding of the functions within those departments that they seek to work in permanently and build on relationships, uh, professional relationships 
uh, show what they can do, and as a result, they compete very well when it comes time to actually applying for work. We're going to, and we certainly do have more and more people coming from diverse communities and low-income backgrounds. And as a result, we want to serve them um, as effectively as possible in order to meet their challenges and also to uh, help them to move on their aspirations as, as citizens here. And so um, what's needed is uh, a workforce that reflects those communities more and more. And we work in this diversity effort uh, through the College County Mentorship Program to identify college students who have the aspiration to be public servants and work in the public sector to help to meet the needs of the communities that they come from. Every couple months I had trainings that we went to about professionalism or um, kind of how to navigate the county and different things to know. It was set up like a real job. Every month you had a meeting where you got evaluated on your performance. Um, so that was really cool to see of just like, where can I improve at, you know, where, th where am I kind of uh, have barriers and how can I strengthen my, my skills that I need to work on. Emily was my mentor when I was with Cal College to County at the Selwood Bridge Project and um, she gave me the opportunity to go out and explore the work that was going on on my own but at the same time have the support I needed when I questions arose or when I needed guidance. Ebony Clark was amazing. Whenever I came to her with, you know, I'd really like to do this, she would find different people. And that's how I ultimately was able to get to Forensic Diversion, is because I was like, Ebony, I really want to be hands-on in the community and build these skills so when I apply to grad school, I'm not behind, like, I'm, I'm ahead. This is a College County Mentorship Program, which means that we are giving students what they need to succeed. We're really embracing that whole idea of equity, is giving somebody what they need to succeed. We know that's going to be different from person to person. And so we've found people volunteering as mentors who are willing to put forth the extra effort. You also benefit, as so many people do, uh, by earning a living wage, um, being able to support your family and aspirations of your family, uh, being able to con contribute to your community uh, by not only uh, being a homeowner, for instance, but also paying taxes and other kinds of things that make, uh, make you a full citizen in this society. Go ahead and apply. It's a great opportunity, and if you end up getting the internship or the position, it gives you an opportunity to explore something that you wouldn't normally explore or something you wouldn't regularly go and do. I love the county. When I got to come back, I was like, thank you. I just, I love being here. I love the flexibility. Seeing how everyone was a lot happier. You know, you come in and they're like, good morning, how are you doing? It's networking. It's not just at your desk focus, you know, with your headphones in. It's very much like, you want to go grab coffee? You know, I want to learn about who you are. You know, what do you want to do long term? Here's, here's what I've learned throughout the county. How can I support you 